Episode 9 in this bitch. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the motherfucking Bonecast. I am Bones Dub, as you all know. And uh, we got a good one for you today, man. Thanks for tuning in, of course. This episode's brought to you by our fucking magical, wonderful, incredible sponsors. Andrew B., Lisa G., Lindsay M., Matt Bogner, Brian and Holly Teeters, DJ Mad Hatter, Second and Grant, Filthy 8-Bit, a.k.a. Jordan, Shoutouts to y'all. Thank you so much for sponsoring. If you want to become a sponsor, as you probably know, go to theboncast.com, click on sponsorships, or patreon.com slash theboncast, and uh, help out the cause, man. You get hooked up. Fucking shoutouts every episode. Twitter shoutouts. Instagram cameo style videos posted on my personal page and sent to you. And, uh, uh, fucking, you can promote your albums, your, your events, whatever you got coming up. And, uh, videos, you know what I'm saying? You want me to review your video or something, fucking, or song, anything like that. It's all in the sponsorships. Go check it out. Theboncast.com. So, how y'all doing, man? <laughs> Hopefully everybody's staying healthy and fucking mentally healthy out there in this crazy times we living in with the fucking... Rona going around, the, the COVIDs and the fucking, you know, whatever they're calling it these days. I might have said, if you, did, if you didn't see it, um, yesterday I went live on uh, Magic Ninja Entertainment's Facebook page and did a fucking full-blown update for y'all for all this new A&B shit coming out and it was fucking super fresh. I haven't done a live on Facebook ever and that shit was hella fun. I'm, Gonna do them hopefully soon. If you're watching on Facebook too, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, it's not exactly live, but if you wanna be in the live chat, go to the YouTube channel, youtubecom B-O-N-E-Z, and I'll be in the live chat there, answering questions, comments, all that shit. All night long. All night long. All right. So check that shit out. But I appreciate you if you're watching on Facebook. Go to the fucking YouTube video, which is airing right now, and uh, I'll be in the fucking live chat. And subscribe while you're at it. <laughs> so yeah, once again, shout out to the sponsors, Andrew B., Lisa G., Lindsay M., Matt Bogner, Brian Holly Teeters, DJ Mad Hatter, Second and Grant, and Filthy 8-Bit. Thank you guys so much. You're the reason I'm still going, man. All the viewers and the sponsors and the donators, thank you so much. Couldn't do it without y'all. And you're proof that, uh, you know, it works and it keeps going. <laughs> you're making another one of my dreams come true. So I can't thank y'all enough, man. I fucking super appreciate it. We got a dope episode, man. There's a lot of shit to talk about. Movies, music, TV. As you all know, that's what the Bonecast is all about. But I also got to update you on some Fatality Freshness, A&B Freshness, Magic Ninja Entertainment Freshness. Axe Murder Business. So, if you didn't know, the new single just dropped on Twisted's YouTube. Official Twisted. And, uh, it's fucking amazing. I want to know what y'all think. Like, it just dropped, like, 15 minutes ago on the YouTube. And tonight, at midnight, it goes live in the U.S., you know, in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> On every digital social media platform, Spotify, YouTube, uh, iTunes, Deezer, Tidal, all that shit. So, uh, technically it's out now though. Go check it out on Twisted's YouTube page. Super fucking dope. First single, Fatality. One of my favorites. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you thought. And, uh, like I said, tonight it drops digitally everywhere on uh, uh, at about midnight you know technically Friday so uh, yeah and then we got a second single coming out April 17th which is a super fucking banger with a special guest to be 
announced at a later date. And a uh, super fucking dope track. And a third single coming out May 8th. If you didn't fucking know, we're dropping three singles on this bitch. Super fucking dope track too. Can't wait for y'all to hear these tracks, man. Pre-orders begin April 1st on mnestore.com with a couple of pre-order packages. I'm not exactly sure yet, but they'll be announced, I believe, April 1st, the day they go live. So uh, go check that shit out, man. Get your pre-order on. Get your CD and your freshness and your pre-order packages. It's super fucking dope. And all the pre-order stuff will only be available if you pre-order the album through mnestore.com. There's new merch coming to mnestore.com. And for the tour, tons of new merch for the tour. Oh, man, I can't wait for y'all to see this fucking new merch, man. Some of this shit I'm going to be wearing on the daily because it is fucking dope. I can't fucking wait. And the full EP, Fatality EP, comes out May 29th, which is the first day of the High Namek Duo tour as well. The rescheduled dates, so that's fucking dope. We'll talk about the rescheduled tour dates here coming soon. I know everybody's fucking freaking out because everything got canceled, but it's for the better. It's for the fucking good of the world, man. You got to keep keep that shit from spreading. How about these motherfuckers that are running around spreading this shit on purpose? Like that video of that dude who licked the toilet and got corona from it? Ha! That's what you get, bro. I mean, I don't, I don't wish death upon anybody, of course. <laughs> but uh, if you go lick a toilet in the middle of a fucking na- worldwide pandemic, that you're going to get this shit. Like, come on, don't lick toilets. Don't lick grocery store foods either. I heard they arrested that guy who was licking all kinds of shit in the grocery fucking store. It just goes to show you, man, people are fucked up, man. People are fucked up, and we got to stay safe and protect our fucking loved ones through this crazy fucking time. But here on the Bonecast, I'm here to fucking spread positivity and, and, and fucking, you know, freshness so you don't have to worry so much, you know what I'm saying? It's a rough world out there. Even without worldwide fucking pandemics and shit, it's fucking crazy out there. So my goal is to put a smile on your face or talk about shit that you like, shit that I like, movies, music, TV, fucking all that shit. Music, that reminds me. I didn't have that written down. I got to shout out this chick I've been listening to for fucking months now, but she's about to be blowing up. She's fucking incredibly fresh. But anyway... We'll talk about that soon. So, first single entitled Fatality. The title track of the EP called Fatality comes out, well, it's out now on Twisted's YouTube. And uh, at midnight tonight, it'll be available on digital platforms everywhere. I got an email from uh, Ned from Magic Ninja Australia. Shout out. Shout out to MNA and this bitch. Um... They already got it since they're a day ahead. It's all, all their shit's out. So thanks for the support, brother. Can't wait for us to get passports and get out to Australia when all this shit clears up and rock some shows with y'all, man. Be fucking dope. But I appreciate it. He said the fucking track is super fresh. So take it from him <laughs> or take it from me. Check it out. Pick it up. Download it. Stream it. Whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I super fucking appreciate it. And it's that fire. So, uh, second single, April 17th. Third single, May 8th. Pre-orders drop April 1st on mnestore.com. Excuse me. Full EP available on all digital outlets May 29th. And uh, CD available on mnestore.com along with pre-orders, which are available April 1st. But the CD is available completely on May 29th. There's new merch for... MNEstore.com, MNELimited.com, and fucking tour dates. Let's go over the announced tour dates real quick. Twisted's Dynamic Duo Tour. Got rescheduled, of course, because of the fucking pandemic, you know. The virus. 
which is good. I mean, it sucks, you know, like I said, but it's good because we're all fucking staying home, staying safe, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of y'all are going crazy being at home all the time. And uh, all I could say is find something that'll keep your mind off that shit. Read some comics, watch some fucking TV, you know what I'm saying? Netflix, Hulu, that shit helps me out. Write some songs. I've been writing like crazy. I still got to record a couple things, too. Uh, for some homies I'm doing features for, but, um, so if you're watching, homies, it's coming, it's coming, <laughs> but, uh, and I got some more shit coming up, too, I gotta record, but, uh, I've been writing like crazy, like, I got a full fucking notebook of Bonecast stuff and, uh, um, lyrics, just ready to go, ready to record, so it's going down. Uh, so yeah, Twisted's Dynamic Duo Tour with special guest Slain on select dates, ABK on select dates, A and B on all the dates, and Dead by Wednesday on all the dates. Starts off, like I said, rescheduled dates, May 29th, Laconia, New Hampshire at the Granite State Music Hall, May 30th, Hartford, Connecticut at the Webster Underground, May 31st, Providence, Rhode Island at the Alchemy. June 2nd at Buffalo, New York at the Rec Room. Uh, June 4th at, in Scranton, Pennsylvania at Stage West. June 5th in Poughkeepsie, New York at the Chance. June 6th, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the Capitol Room at HMAC. Uh, June 7th, State College, Pennsylvania at Stage West. And June 12th, the infamous 8th Annual 420 Celebration Show. Got rescheduled to June 12th, but that's okay because we're still going to party it up like it's 420. Uh, and Pontiac, Michigan at the Crowfoot. With Twisted, Blaze, Cottonmouth Kings, ABK, Axe Murder Motherfuckers, and uh, uh, Insane E, and Dead by Wednesday, and How to Gag a Maggot, and a couple others I can't remember, but it's going to be a fucking packed ass lineup. Can't wait. Rescheduled dates are at Twisted.com, or Official Twisted on uh, uh, Instagram, you know, all the social medias. They're posted everywhere. Go check it out. Twisted.com, MaxMurderBoys.com, MagicNinjaEntertainment.com, all the dot-coms, all the social medias. You'd, be have to, hey, you'd have to live under a rock to not fucking know what's going on. <laughs> if you're on social media, go check it out. I know the social medias tend to fucking cock block us and not make everybody who's following us see our shit. But if you're following us, even if you're not following us, go go check it out. It's all up on there. Rescheduled dates, fucking announcements, all that shit. I stay on Instagram. Instagram's my shit. That's where I find out like 99% of my news on everything. Sometimes that's how I find out shit that's happening with myself. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the fucking freshness, man. There's all kinds of freshness to talk about today, yo. Bonecast wise, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Tom Segura. Uh, Segura? Yeah. Stand up, I have such a hard time pronouncing his last name for some reason. But his stand up specials on Netflix now, it was fucking hilarious, just like I thought it was gonna be. He's a super funny dude. All the, all, most Netflix specials, comedy wise, are the fucking bomb. Burt Kreischer, of course, Chris D'Elia, one of my top favorite comedians. He's got one coming out April 14th called No Pain. Can't fucking wait for that one. I stay watching his podcast. I frequently watch his stand-up specials. He's just a funny motherfucker, man. Shout out to Chris D'Elia, dog. Hopefully we get him on the fucking podcast. That would be dope. That would be fucking dope. Somebody mention him or something. <laughs> In a post, be like, yo. Speaking of fucking special guests, I know I haven't had many this season, so I'm gonna... Set them all up, line them all up, knock them all down. So stay tuned for the rest of the fucking uh, season because it's going to be celebrity packed, man. Know what I mean? 
No, I'm talking about <laughs> like fucking uh, Slim Thug. That's my Slim Thug impression. No, I'm talking about. <laughs> He's the shit. Hope you get better, Slim Thug, man. Thug master. <laughs> You got the corona, that shit's scary as fuck, man. Everybody's getting it. He lives like 20 minutes from here. It's crazy. Anyway, fucking, uh... Yeah, check out all those stand-up specials on Netflix. They're gonna be fucking dope. Um, I was watching... I turned on last night... Last night I turned on that, uh... Tiger Show, Tiger King on Netflix. Everybody's fucking talking about it. So I, I turned it on and I passed out like 30 minutes into the first episode. So, but it seems good. You know, I'm going to keep trying to watch it when I got the time and check it out. I love documentaries too. Shit's dope. But uh, so far so good. You know, it's weird. It's fucking weird. You know, it's awkward and weird. But a lot of shit is these days. <laughs> so, uh. I'll have to check that out. Let me know in the comments if you've seen it, what you think about it, all that good shit. Because I've seen that shit. Everybody's talking about it on social media, so I had to see what the fucking hype was about. Anyway, so I turned that on. Or before I turned that on, I watched Incredibles 2, you know, just in the background when I was working on some videos. And uh, I just realized the voice of, what's his name? I had to write it down. Winston, the voice of Winston, who's who's like, Helping the supers trying to uh, legalize superheroes again. He's played by Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> I had to write down his name too so I didn't forget. But uh, Bob Odenkirk is the dude from Better Call Saul. Saul Goodman. Fucking. I had no idea. And when I turned it on I was just working on, on my fucking laptop and uh, heard his voice and was like no fucking way Better Call Saul is it's just dope to me man because Better Call Saul is one of my favorite shows right now it's so fucking funny it's got super serious to it seriousness to it but uh, he's fucking funny man and he just I know he's acting but he's such a good fucking talker and it, and it portrays in the Winston character in Incredibles 2. is so dope just to know that. I love fucking finding out who voices what in these fucking animated movies, man. That shit cracks me up. Like, uh, um, what's his fucking name? You know, dude who voices... Uh, Bojack Horseman, you know, he's the host of the fucking Lego Masters show, and uh, the, he voices all kinds of shit, he's in all kinds of shit, Bojack Horseman, motherfucking Squirrel from Nut Job, uh, Lego Batman, he, he's just the shit, man, we'll talk about him too here in a sec, but, um, yeah, Better Call Saul, fucking Bob Odenkirk, man, one of my favorite actors. He plays the president in Long Shot with Seth Rogen, that new movie with Seth Rogen. Fucking hilarious, man. One of my favorites for sure. He's so fucking funny. So, uh, trailers, man. I haven't been talking about trailers that much recently. Um, Black Widow, of course, May 1st. Can't wait for that shit. I'm a huge Marvel and DC fan. Um, I didn't know any Black Widow comics growing up or anything like that, but since the Marvel Un Cinematic Universe popped off, I've been a fan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so can't wait for that. It's gonna be fucking dope. Um, plus it's got the dude from Stranger Things playing fucking Captain Russia or whatever his name is, I can't remember. But that shit should be dope. Uh, it's got the chick from The Mummy in it too. It just looks dope. My son is not a fan of Black Widow at all for some reason. He just doesn't think it's worth going to see. Which, honestly, with all this pandemic shit, you don't know if we're going to be able to go see anything anyway. Oh, that's what's fucking crazy. I watched um, Onward, the new Pixar 
And because uh, they dropped it like immediately, so people could watch it at home. Since you know theaters are shut down for the most part, I don't know if they stay open in some places, which they shouldn't be. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, fucking uh, onward! So it comes out. It, they dropped it on digital platforms everywhere. It comes out on Disney Plus April seventh, I believe. But I want to talk about that because check this out. After this pandemic, with all these movies dropping digitally straight to home, they're calling it like cinema release, you know. And it's like twenty bucks, ridiculous fucking amount. But you own the you own the fucking movie, you know what I'm saying? So my question is, are theaters even gonna even be a thing anymore? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know they will, but. They won't be as popular because people are doing cinema releases at home now. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit might blow up. Don't quote me, but that shit might fucking blow up. And we're going to be watching movies from home for the foreseeable future. You know what I'm saying? Fucking crazy how times are changing, man. I did hear drive-in theaters are staying open, though. Which is pretty fucking dope, you know what I'm saying? But I remember the last time I went to a drive-in theater, the cars were pretty fucking close together, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Still seems like they're not being safe with it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm a worrier, you know? I'm a worry fucking wart because I'm high risk, you know, with the diabetes and all that shit, so I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. Uh, Bad Trip, this movie called Bad Trip coming out, uh, just watched the trailer the other day, but I just watched it again because it was fucking hilarious, Eric Andre, Lil Rel, it's like a, a prank show, but in movie form, ah, it looks fucking funny, man, I can't wait for that, the trailer said April, it didn't give a date, so, I'd have to Google it, but, uh, I don't want to waste your time with me Googling something right now, <laughs> But uh, it looks dope. It looks fucking funny. Eric Andre is fucking hilarious. I think he's a juggalo too, so... Or at least sports, you know, juggalo-related merch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It might even be a fucking... Raz on juggalos. I don't fucking know, but... He's funny, so I'd watch it. Uh, and Pixar's new shit. Um, not Onward, but the new new coming out soul like i didn't even know it was a pixar but super fucking dope trailer looks amazing it reminds me of uh inside what's the fucking one inside out i don't remember but yeah inside out pixar movie anyway it reminds me of that you know what i'm saying Onward was crazy, because that shit hit the feels, man. It's all about a, a dad passing away and the brother being there for the little brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, and if you didn't know, my older brother passed away two years back, and almost to the day. Yeah, fucking A. About in two weeks, it'll be two years. Anyway, uh... It reminded me a lot of my brother, you know what I'm saying? And my dad, I haven't seen my dad in a long time because he lives back in Denver, but, uh... So that shit hit home, man. That shit hit home. I was like, damn, Pixar with the feels again. Pixar always does that shit. Anyway, Soul looks just like that. Soul looks like it's gonna hit the feels, but it also looks pretty fucking funny, too. So that'll be dope. That'll be fucking dope. Um... news bomb that I just found out today you may or may not know but they've been filming a new Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and apparently the name leaked it's a rumor I don't know if it's true but uh, apparently it's called Spider-Man 3 Home Run so I wish they would think I mean as might me just be me bitching about it but homecoming 
Far From Home and now Home Run. Like, come on, guys. You can think of something a little more creative. You know what I'm saying? That's like us calling Fatality uh, Muerte again or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be a little more creative. But anyway, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to pay to see it. You know me. I fucking love Spider-Man and Marvel and all superhero shit. But it's for the, it's uh, slated for July 2021 release. So that's not even... That's a year away, man. That's fucking dope. Um, so speaking of fucking dude, man. What is his name? Anyway, Lego Masters. I thought that show was gonna suck, but... It's actually pretty fucking good, man. <laughs> like, I kept seeing it promoted on Hulu every time I opened up Hulu and it fucking I was like fine fuck it turned it on ended up watching like three episodes straight it was it's pretty fucking good man and it's funny and uh it's fun to watch these motherfuckers spend 15 hours building something just for it to fucking crash down and <laughs> shatter everywhere uh it's it's pretty fucking funny man Will Arnett boom I remembered Will Arnett so Bojack hosts it, and it's fucking funny. <laughs> um, yeah, Lego Masters on Hulu. It's pretty dope. I watched like three episodes of that the other day. It's awesome. I'll probably uh, I'll probably end up watching the other episodes too. I think there's like seven of them out right now. I know it airs on TV too, but I don't got cable. I just watch everything the day after. Or on streaming services, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, Stream Wars, dog. And Dave, the Lil Dicky show. That shit's fucking hilarious, too. Not this last episode that aired last night, but the one before that was fucking disgusting. <laughs> but it was still fucking funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, his whole comedy rap style fits perfectly into this show because it's like a slightly based on real life but not at the same time it's just fucking funny man shout out to Lil Dicky man gotta get you on the podcast too I, I, that'd probably be a big one that might cost me a little bit of money so you guys want to see some big names uh, tell your homies to the Donate and become sponsors so we can afford that shit. <laughs> um, Tiger King already talked about. Oh, and fucking, I can't believe I didn't even notice this shit. Uh, I must be living under a rock or something when it comes to Netflix shit, man. But Ozark, the show called Ozark, one of my fucking favorites. I love that fucking show. It's not comedy. I mean, it does have a little bit of comedy here and there. But, uh, it's fucking awesome. And I just found out season three drops on Netflix tomorrow. I was just like, what the fuck? Where have I been? How did I not know this? I knew they were filming it. I didn't know it was dropping fucking tomorrow, though. So I'm excited for that shit. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I recommend, highly recommendo that one. Super fucking dope. What's time? What's the time? What's the time? Damn, I've been talking fast today. I guess I'm getting I'm getting a little more used to it, eh? So yeah, Ozark's gonna be dope. Can't wait to watch that tomorrow. Uh, I'll come back next week with a uh, special guest and more info on all this new shit. And uh, I'll let you know what I thought of Ozark because I'm probably gonna watch all of the episodes during the next seven days. <laughs> So yeah, it's fucking dope, man. That's how good that shit is, for real. Um, hope y'all are staying safe out there, man. For real, like... Stay positive, you know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of people bitching about having to deal with their kids all day, which really infuriates me because I don't get to see my kids as much as I want to. And the fact that I get to see them a lot more now is incredible. It's awesome. You know what I'm saying? And even when they were young and the terrible twos and all that, I loved that shit. Any second I can get with my kids, I love. So 
that's just me though. Anyway, hope y'all are staying safe, staying sane, uh, stay productive. Just because you're locked in your house and, you know, some of you might be out of work or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just because all this bad shit's happening does not mean you can't be productive and get creative. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, write a book. Write a fucking short story, even. Draw. Uh, paint. Um, if you make beats, make beats. Send me some beats. I can always use some new shit. <laughs> like I was talking about on the M&E Facebook the other day. But, uh, and obviously, pick up the new music. <laughs> pick up the new A and B shit. Support your boys. You know what I'm saying? Bump that freshness. Um, there's a free Amazon free trial at theboncast.com. Free 30-day free trial. Just go to theboncast.com. There's a big banner right in front. Click on that. Get yourself a free trial. 30 days full of fucking, uh, you know, free movies and documentaries and TV shows and all kinds of shit. Fucking uh, Pennyworth on there. The story of Alfred from Batman. Uh, the Boys. Fucking great, great fucking TV show. Um... There's a bunch of shit. <laughs> we'll talk about it more next week. What I forgot to write down, though, is the new season of What We Do in the Shadows is coming out to FX and Hulu, and I can't fucking wait. That is such a dope fucking comedy show. It's about vampires and shit. It's fucking awesome. I don't know if y'all watch that shit, but it's fucking hilarious. Highly recommend all that. So, yeah. Music-wise, I don't have much written down, but I've been bumping a lot of international shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you know, of course, all the new A&B shit stays in my rotation so I can learn it and perform it for y'all when it fucking pops off. But I wanted to mention this chick, Killboy. I have no idea why she's not... You know, doesn't have a, a billion followers and... Playing stadiums and fucking exploding right now. Her voice is on point. On fucking point. Uh, Riff Raff reposted her on Instagram like months ago. And that kind of started the... I mean, she was an artist before that. But it kind of started the big push. You know what I'm saying? But still, you know... I think she has like less than a hundred thousand followers on Instagram and maybe 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying she's not blowing up, but I'm saying she, I'm, I don't understand why she's not a superstar pop star right now because she's, her voice is on point, uh, real fucking tone clear, I don't know the word for it, she can hit a fucking note, I'm telling you, anyway, go check her shit out on YouTube and Spotify, her name's Killboy, one word, super fucking dope, highly recommend it, she fucking schools it, but, um, besides her own shit, she did this remix of Riff Raff's Tiptoe 3, ooh wee, I cannot stop listening to that shit, that's my kids, man, they were like, why do you keep replaying this song? <laughs> For one, I like Riff Raff. He's dope. But fucking uh, Killboy, in the words of Dale D'Antoni, nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking nice. She schools it. Shout out to Killboy. I'm going to try to get her on the bone cast too. So that'd be fucking dope. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for today, yo. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in on Facebook. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube and joining me in the live chat. Thank you to the sponsors. Once again, Andrew B, Lisa G, Lindsay M, Matt Bogner, Brian Holly Teeters, DJ Mad Hatter, Second and Grant, Filthy 8-Bit. All y'all mean the world to me. Thank you fucking so much. Um, Twitter shoutouts and Instagram cameo style videos are coming this week. 
So if you're not a sponsor, get it in now because you get the hookups. And I'm still upgrading everything too, so everybody's going to get some extra freshness if you didn't know. And uh, yeah, man, new single drop tonight. Um, and at midnight on digital service everywhere called Fatality. Pick that shit up, download it, stream it, all that good shit. Thank you so much. Uh, check out all the Bonecast episodes on everywhere you can get podcasts. Everywhere. Audio and video. Um, check out the new singles. April 17th, May 8th. Pre-orders begin for Fatality EP April 1st on mnestore.com. Full EP available everywhere on all digital outlets. May 29th. And on ME Store and CD form on May 29th. Come check us out on the tour starting May 29th. Dynamic Duo Tour with Twisted, Slain, ABK, a &B, Dead by Wednesday, 420 Show on June 12th, Cottonmouth Kings, Blazy Dead Homie, a &B, ABK, Dead by Wednesday, How to Gag a Maggot, uh, fucking all kinds of other motherfuckers, man. It's going down. Insane E, shout out to Insane E too. Much motherfucking props. And uh, he designed a couple of fucking a and new A&B merch items too, man. Can't wait. Can't wait for y'all to see this shit. I can't wait to get my own. Because I'm, man, super dope Pam shit. Can't wait. Can't fucking wait. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Subscribe, comment, share, spread the word. I appreciate it so fucking much. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. I love every single one of you. Take care of your children. Uh, don't go out. Stay home. Wash your fucking paws. And, uh, yeah, fucking A. Thank you so much once again. I love y'all, man. Super dope. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love from Bo's Up. Peace.